Hey guys, it's Multi Game Master One here yet again, and welcome back to my 100% LPs. This time, I will be playing Banjo Kazooie 100%, and this is pretty much a game that I've enjoyed pretty much during my childhood. I remember playing this when I was a little kid, and boy, did I enjoy it a whole lot. And um, another thing to note about the game is that originally it was published for the Nintendo by Rare, but shortly after, um. They developed it for the Xbox 360, and as you guys may or may not see at the moment, I am playing the Xbox 360 version because I feel as though that the graphics and level design in this game are a lot more crisper than what it was in the Nintendo 64, and I figured I already had my Xbox 360 out and I downloaded the game, so why not? Why not just 100% LP the game? So yeah, that's pretty much why I'm playing on the Xbox 360 version and not the Nintendo 64 version. Anyway, I don't want to bore you guys too much with details, so let's just go ahead and get the game started 100% and I will select my first file, which is of course empty. So if we look at the intro of the story, we will see a green mist with lightning strikes and a tower in the shape of a witch's face. Looks very ominous and evil. If you ask me. And I wonder what's up these stairs and behind that door. Witch! Witch! Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who was the nicest looking witch? Why, it's Quinty any day. She really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My luck stand me out from the crowd. My voice acting might be bad for this, by the way. Uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Yeah, as I was saying, my voice acting may be bad for this game. Just let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. Wow. We'll see about that. Has anyone noticed that that didn't rhyme? <laughs> Interesting fact. I guess Grunty can't rhyme at all. Well, maybe not most of the time. Anyway, if we go outside, we have another bear running back to her house. Her name is Tootie, and we also have a molehill right there which has bottles the mole inside short-sighted mole with that hi there Tootie what are you going to do today when my big lazy brother wakes up we're going on an adventure and of course if we go inside the house we'll see Banjo asleep and Kazooie in her pack. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be! That doesn't sound good. Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mo? I can't see him! Up there in the sky! I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Oh dear. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody, help. Badjo. Wake up! Now! Uh, what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside! There's trouble! And so, from here, our adventure begins. So we proceed from the house, and we go to the molehill that we saw earlier, with bottles inside. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted Mo. I'm Banjo, 
and this here is my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press the A button if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. Okay, I'm well experienced at the game, but someone has advised me that I should show you guys the tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and press A. We like some help bottles. What do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press X to call me. See you soon. Okay, so now per training regulations, we have to find these molehills. And here's one right here. To access the training, you just want to get close to it and press X, as bottle said. Uh, anyone home? Hello again, let's start with the camera controls. They're on the right stick. Jeez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Beaky. Tap the right or left bumper to move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all worm breath? No, hold the right or left bumper to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. Try it out. I'll see you at the next molehill. Okay, so with the right analog stick, we can move the camera around. Same for the bumpers. You could just hold it down to move the camera right behind you. And now let's move on to our next molehill, which is right over here. Hmm, your jump could do with some help. Ah! What do moles know about jumping? More than you press, more than you, press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Like that. Come on, Feathers, you can give him a hand. Why? I look silly, I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. A and then A for a double jump. That's it, we're ready to move on. Not until you learn this one first. You must stand like this. What? Wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold the right or left trigger, then press A for the mighty flat flip jump. Left the right trigger, then hold A. That's all the jumps. Keep practicing. And of course, this move will be useful in helping us reach high places and retrieving objects such as these. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. And here's the next molehill right here. We will need to grab those honeycombs before we move on. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh. Sounds difficult, and I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I want to swim. Spill the beans, Specky. Use the left stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater, press X to dive. Go on, give it a try. So if we just get on the surface of the water and press X, we can dive. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs and the Winged Wonder can press X to use her wings. And of course, as you're underwater, you'll want to pay attention to your um, air meter. That's on the left side of the screen, the blue honeycombs that you see. If the health is depleted, you will drown and you will lose a life. So if you're running low on air, be sure to escape out of the water and onto the surface as fast as you can. Otherwise, it's an instant death if you stay down there for too long. But that's pretty much explained uh, just now. Okay, so if we come over here, we have another extra honeycomb piece right here. And if we go behind this waterfall, we have an extra life. The 
look out for me. I'm an extra life. And now that I remember, I think I saw an extra life over at Banjo's house. So I'm going to head back there for just a moment in order to pick it up. So yeah, pretty much the molehills, if this is like your first time playing, and I'm pretty sure that for many of you that it isn't, then um, if you just find these molehills, you'll learn the basics of the game. Of course, more moves are going to become available to you as the game progresses, but we will worry about that later. Anyway, let's get on top of this house. And as I said, there's an extra life. So now we have five. Okay, so now where can we head to next? I guess we may as well tackle this next area up here as soon as I get up there. And up here we will sight another mole hill, which means more training. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press X when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about Bird Brain? Just try it, Bono Boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with the challenge. Ah, there's Topper. Whack him, Banjo. Okay, so the call swipe, you just want to get close to the enemy, stand still or walk slowly, and then press the X button to basically just swipe at your opponents. Wow, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. Be patient, Kazooie. Of course, this is training, so if you touch the enemy, you won't take damage. Now try my fearsome four roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing X. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. Roll attack, you just want to run and hold the X button. Well, maybe not hold it, but just press it. Bullseye! One more! Stop rolling! I feel sick! That's the roll attack. It's time for the buzzer to learn a trick. It better be a good one, Squinty! Try out the rat attack rap by jumping and pressing X in the air. Now, where's Kali Wobble? Okay, so follow suit with the attack. The rat attack rap. Hmm, not bad, Featherface. Give me another, Ball Guys. So once again, jump and then press X in the air to attack. You've learned all of the basic attacks now. See you around. And of course, after defeating all of those enemies, we get an extra honeycomb piece, which is pretty nice. Now, let's just move on to the next area. And of course, you can also train on enemies that you see out in the field. Mmm, I'm sticky, tasty honey energy. Yeah, if you take damage, you'll start to lose health. Grab those honeycombs in order to replenish it. Now, let's go over to this next mole hill. My big barge attack needs the help of all chicken legs. At least I've got some legs, short stuff. Hold the right or left trigger, then press X for a powerful beaky barge. And of course, we could test some of these rocks here. So one of the triggers and then press X. See, Banjo? She is useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars! And of course, after taking down the boulders, we get an extra honeycomb piece. So that's five down and one left for us to increase our energy. And I believe from this point, there is only one more move that we can learn. And we can access the move over here. Hey, Banjo, I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying, Root Muncher. Not yet. Banjo, jump onto a tree, then use the left stick to climb up or down. That's it! You learn all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, so before we go up there, one of these trees holds an extra honeycomb piece on top. You'll find plenty of other things to climb. 
I wonder if ladder if that includes ladders. Anyway, that's our sixth honeycomb piece the top of that tree, and with all six, we increase our energy bar by one unit. Of course, there'll be plenty more of these to find, so you can extend your health. Alright, so now, with everything accomplished and training complete, let's make our way to the top of Spiral Mountain now. If Banjo can get up there. Well done, guys! You're ready to tackle the witch now! We sure are! Show us the way, Bottle Boy! I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. And we will indeed progress into the witch's lair. However, I think this episode has been going on for quite a while, so I think I'm going to save the expiration of Grunty's lair for the next episode. So, in the next part, we're going to continue the game by exploring uh, Gruntilda the witch's lair in hopes of rescuing Banjo's sister Tootie from her evil clutches. So until next time, I'm Multigame Master 1. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.